Shalom, his brother Yashima Zakar from the Israelite Report, IsraeliteReport.com. Upon my watch, all praises are definitely due to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Peace and blessings to all the brothers spread across the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth and sincerity. I'm just going to go right to it. This is uh, Second Ezra 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, because the prophets are telling you beforehand what's going to happen and, and the things that you should be looking for. All right, through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But it says here, um, second verse, then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And that's what you're seeing right now. The Lord is visiting the world. He is visiting this place. And that's why you're seeing these hurricanes and, and earthquakes, tornadoes, and um, people just have no uh, mercy on one another. All right. And a lot of the pride, of, especially of our people, because our people have become very prideful, just like Esau, that's going to be brought down. So all the brothers that are, uh, you know, have taken the low. And, um, you know, you getting kicked around and, and, you know, I'll just say you being shitted on pretty much, you know, by the world and you're taking abuse from the world. Uh, the time's going to come when they're going to get humbled. Those very same people that were high minded and looked down on you, talk shit about you. What's wrong with you? Why can't you get it together? Cause first of all, I'm going to tell you something. If you fear the Lord. You're a man of the Lord. The Lord is not going to allow you to do certain things. There's certain things you're just not going to do. And I know that from experience. Certain things I just cannot. The Lord be like, uh, nope. Right? So um, we come across as strange to the world. We, we're weird to them. But they're weird to us, right? So anyway, I brought that out because and I bring that scripture out damn near no, I can almost say every week now. Uh because of the times that we're in. But I brought that out because Jake got this attitude where they feel like they don't believe shit that shit happens. And I'm 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 always quoting that Bernie Mac joke. I don't believe shit that shit happens. Well shit is happening. Okay? Things are happening happening right now right before you okay so that the time that we're in right now right now as we speak the lord is visiting this place and the crazy part about it is it's about to get even crazier it's about to get even crazier you haven't seen nothing yet okay so this is a full warning the, you know, to get it right with the Lord, uh, seek you the Lord while he may be found. I always push that. Seek you the Lord while he may be found. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. All right? Seek you the Lord. Call on his name. Now, I got this from um, Natural News here. It says, um, execution squads. And a lot of you have heard it, you know, you, you've probably uh, heard this already. But it says, update to DOD directive expands military authority to use lethal force against American citizens. And, um, you know, the DOD, Department of Defense, <laughs> This is this is where we are now, and I, I and I'll keep harping on this, that it doesn't matter who wins the election, because we're in the election year. This is the, you know we're just coming up soon. Jake is retarded, and Jake is running out there talking about they're gonna vote for Kamala, and then you got the, you know you got the other side of Jake that's gonna uh, vote for Trump, and they're looking for a savior. And they're not looking on Yahweh Shah. They, they don't understand. They don't get it. Because they went to the, the goddamn Christian church. 
and all they learned was John 3.16. So their mindset isn't to depend on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Their mindset is to depend on uh, this government. They're praying that this government will rescue them from, you know, these terrible times. Then, you know, the, the inflation, which could lead to hyperinflation soon. Right? All of their woes, all of their troubles, they're leaning on the government to do it. And they're not leaning and trusting and depending on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. But this devil is really about to show you his horns. He's really about to show you what time it is and that he hate you. He hate you. All right? Because the first people they're going to come after are the children of Israel. The same way the same people, they, uh, the, the first people, excuse me, the first people they applied or, or um, tried to give that jab to were the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. They literally said that. And their excuse was that you were too poor to have health insurance. So, um, again, I'm going to read it, read the um, title. It says, Execution Squad's Update to DOD, Department of Defense, Directive Expands Military Authority to Use Lethal Force Against American Citizens. It says, with the election only weeks, a few weeks away, the Department of Defense has given the U.S. military authority to assist in domestic law enforcement. So that means, again, and we've seen a dry run of this um, in New York. They had the um, National Guard in the subways because the subways were so dangerous. And this is something I've been trying to, you know, uh, get across is that they've been allowing all these smashing grabs, you know, all this violence, you know, Jake acting wild on the subway and shanking people and robbing people. And doing all this crazy stuff, right? It's crazy ish. They allowed that on purpose so they can have a reason to justify what they're going to do next. And all you've been seeing is these test runs, dry runs, precursors to the real wrath that he's going to bring. This devil is about to really show you. The, that he's he's really who we say he is. And a lot of people have a problem with that because they want to save Esau. They want to save the white man instead of trying to get their house in order and really focus in on uh, getting it right and getting into the good graces of the Lord so that the Lord will have mercy on them. Okay? But it says... Um, the DOD has given the U.S. military authority to assist in domestic law enforcement, including giving them the right to use lethal force against American citizens under certain circumstances. Right? Under certain, certain circumstances, the U.S. military can now be lockstep aligned with law enforcement. And get get the green light to use lethal force. It says it's a, it's a development that has has largely gone under the radar, despite its very significant implications. And that's because everyone's talking about Diddy. This is where these distractions come into play. They can pass these laws and legislations, draconian laws, under the radar while no one's paying attention. Um, I'm going to skip down. Uh, it's a lot to the article. You can go read it for yourself. Um, let me see. There was something here that I wanted to get to. Uh, it says here, 
um, this new iteration replaces the 2016 version of the directive, which was largely concerned with collecting intelligence and protecting civil liberties. In the updated version, lethal force can be used where there are imminent threats as long as it follows proper legal frameworks and gains approval from the Secretary of Defense. So they've ramped it up. They've updated <laughs> this directive. <laughs> right? They've updated it. Now they can use lethal force. Um, and they have a list of people that are going to be on this so-called terrorist list. And um, this one of them right here says, um, those who question pandemic origins and the vax situation, the, the efficiency of the jabber, uh, says are now considered domestic terrorists. So you already on the list. I said this before I say it again. They already made a list of who are uh, considered to be, you know, future domestic terrorists. I think it's the movie Minority Report where they were already deeming people as criminals before they committed a crime. If I'm not mistaken, y'all correct me if I'm wrong. But that's how they're going to play this out. That's why you have these sellout camps. That's why you have uh, these these uh, agent provocateurs and these agent Israelites that are going to commit certain things, you know, acts of violence. And what that's going to do is put a stain on the entire Israelite, uh, you know, all the brothers that are that are waking up to the truth, and then they can point the finger. And say, see, just like they did Al Qaeda, you know, ISIS. Think about it like that. That's what it's going to be like. Oh, you one of them Israelites? Well, this guy over here in Texas or Mont, not Montana. I say, uh, this guy over here in Arizona, somewhere. He said he was an Israelite, and he did such and such. Now we're going to link you to him. This is how Esau gets down. And trust me, when I was in the military, I seen that shit. When, Because I went in right after 9-11. Signed up before it and went in right after. And I'm telling you, when I when look, Esau had blood in his eyes. They couldn't wait to get over there and kill them some Islamics. Some Arabs. They were calling them sand niggers. Esau's got blood in his eyes. And he's looking for someone to blame. The accuser of our brethren. He's the accuser, excuse me, the accuser of thy brethren. Right? He's looking to blame us for the collapse of this society. Because he's not going to blame himself. Okay? So, more than likely, you're already on that damn list. You just don't know it yet. Okay, uh, let me see here. It says, uh, okay, I'll read that part again. It says, those who question the pandemic origins and the vax efficiency are now considered domestic terrorists. There is also the fact that the Department of Homeland Security has recently broadened its definition of domestic terrorism. See, and, they, and they're broadening it. Because that's how they do. They start off with labeling one group a terrorist organization, and then they just spread it out. Now you come under that umbrella. Now they come under that umbrella. Okay. Matter of fact, some of the Israelite, and I'll say this, some of our um, talking points, you know, about, you know, the man uh, being the head of the household, you know, the 
we're pro-Bible. We believe in a Messiah. Okay, we're against the LGBTQ, U, S, Y, X, Y, Z, L, M, N, O, P, whatever, right? The alphabet people, we're against that. Now, you'll find a lot of these right-wing Christian patriots are against some of those same things or have some, you know, they have their, their own version of that talking point. Now, guess what? Guess what category the elites of Esau or the U.S. government, guess what category they can throw us under? They can label us as right-wing extremists. That sounds crazy, right? Sounds crazy as hell. But, again, I'm, let, me, um, let me go back to it. Um, they said they were broadening it. Um, let me go back to it. There's also the fact that Department of Homeland Security has recently broadened its definition of domestic terrorism with the list of potential threats now including individuals who question election integrity as well as the VAX jabber efficiency and the origins of the pandemic. So, uh, well, I'll read the last little paragraph. It says, in other words, natural health advocates who question the safety of the CV-19 vaxxers of future interventions created for other health emergencies could find themselves subjected to potentially lethal force interventions on the pretense of protecting national security due to their classification as potential domestic extremists. So get ready to get labeled. You know, Esau's good with his labels, man. He'll label you something in a heartbeat. He can call you an anti-sim. Right? He can even label you if you want to. He can label you a, a Islamic extremist sympathizer. Because you might have a talking point where you might say <clears throat> um, that what what uh, the state of Israel is doing is wrong right now considering, you know, what's going on over there. And he just give you a label, broaden it out. Now, right quick, I want to get into this other topic real fast. Um, this is um, from MSNBC. <laughs> uh, Joy Reid claims Trump is surging in polls because some Democrats are believing pro-Trump disinformation that is causing a fascist groundswell among black and brown men. See, this is what I meant when I said that, you know, they can just label you anything. This is the accuser of thy brother. Pay attention. Okay. The, I, I know it's funny and we laugh and, and, you know, we laugh at these people for being stupid and ignorant. But listen to the talking point here. It says MSNBC's Joy Reid claims Trump is surging in polls because some Democrats are believing pro-Trump disinf disinformation that is causing a fascist groundswell among black and brown men who are mad that women have become more economically independent and seek positions of power. Again, these are labels that they're throwing at us. With pro patriarch, that can be, you know, considered a domestic terrorist. You see? And who are they going to attack? The black man. The man is the, the head of the household. You take down the man, you're taking down the house. 
Because the woman is going to submit to the man that is in position of power. Who is in a position of power right now? The white man, Esau, Edom. You understand? This is the this is what Esau. This is the game that Esau has been running. The play. That's his play. Someone wrote, and I wanted that, that came from Twitter, by the way. And someone replied, um, "Man, I thought conservative old white guys were the problem for Democrats. Seemed like it's black guys." Who would have thunk it? Yeah, and and he's right because you know for you know for the longest time it's always been uh, conservative white guys were, you know, uh, you know these a lot of these false flags or whatever you situ- you know your Timothy McVeigh's and stuff like that. But now they're shifting it over to black guys. So when this election thing go down, I don't know who's gonna win. Uh, it's a coin flip. And I say that because I know the elite select their presidents. Um, but it could go either way. Who, whoever they chose, you know. But let's say Trump won and, and, the, and the shit hits the fan. You know, they blame black men. Okay, so that's, that's Esau with his divide and conquer. <laughs> All right, and you're gonna see a lot more of that. And right now, a lot of our people are depending and trusting on Esau to help them. That's why you see that this election is just so crazy. And I and and it's true. You do see a lot of these black conservative men. Yo, you know, I voted. I voted for Obama back in the day, but now I'm voting for Trump. You know, just stupid. And then the women are like, you, you hate women. I'm going to vote for a strong black woman. Just stupid. Both of them stupid. Trusting in this goddamn system. Isaiah 30 and 1, it says, Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me. Take counsel, but not of me. They're not taking the counsel of the Lord. And they cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. And it just, this place is getting more demonic by the day. These women are walking around ass out, butt naked, showing everything, purposely pulling their, their goddamn, uh, <laughs> call them yoga pants, all the way up. They got their pussy just hanging all the way out. With a thongs i have some of them don't even wear drawers showing everything and they're mad at the world somebody look at them they're just so offended i keep it pushing i act like i'm looking at my damn phone and keep moving then you got these men they're body girly ass men tight ass pants on fruity Emotional. Everything is just flipped upside down. Adding sin to sin. Smashing each other's women. Posting the shit up on TikTok. Adding sin to sin. It says that walk to go down to Egypt and have not asked at my mouth they're not considering the Lord. That walk to go down to Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. They're looking on the government for help, right? To strengthen themselves into the strength of Pharaoh and, tr- and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. America's the, the modern day Egypt. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. And the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. For his princes were at Zoan, Zoan, 
and his ambassadors came to Haines, they were all ashamed of a people that could not profit them, nor be an help, nor profit, but a shame and also a reproach. And these people are going to find out that not only can a government not help them, the government never wanted to help them in the first place. And they're looking to Trump to be like their last hope because our people have it in their mind that if they're going to get help, it's going to come from a white man. It's going to come from Esau. They don't look to the Lord. They don't even consider. So when society breaks down and they have no more hope in this government, which is what they're trusting in and believing in and depending on at this moment. Shit is going to get ramped up. You think niggas is wild now? Wait until they realize that their government is not going to help them. You're going to need the Lord. And that day, you're going to need the Lord. You're going to see killings on a scale that you would not have imagined. Murders. Okay. This is Matthew um, 24 and 12. It says, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Adding sin to sin. Iniquity, Iniquity shall abound. All right. And because they they don't have, you know, any fear of the Lord. They've taken on the Esau spirit. A lot of these niggas, they've become atheists. They've taken on the Esau's spirit. Locked themselves up with Esau. With the wicked. All right. The love of many shall wax cold. And you're going to see more niggas robbing old ladies, pistol whipping old ladies and taking her purse, all this kind of wicked shit, man. And they're not going to care. It's going to get ramped up out here when this system fails them completely and, and shows them that it failed. Right now, they have their last little hope, and that's Trump. Some niggas, Kamala. Few. But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. And that's that's what uh, is very important is endurance. Enduring this craziness, this madness that's about to go down. That's why I always say let this world go. Let it go now. You know, let it go. And you, you find yourself trying to... Uh, you know, rescue these people. These people are about to be destroyed. And ain't shit you can do about it. Doesn't matter who it is. Your family, your friends, your neighbors, somebody you cool with at work. It doesn't matter. Fuck them. Let them go. All right. Matter of fact, let me get, um. Let me get Acts uh, 5 and 38. It says. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. Leave them alone. Let it go. They don't believe, fuck them. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel of this work be of men, and they've been, and you know, we often apply that to the truth, but you can even say in the world, you know, when it comes to these presidential elections and them believing in the system, you know, them believing in Esau, going down to Egypt for help, and them believing that America is, is the greatest nation on the planet and that America can be saved. They want to believe that. The scriptures say, and now I, I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of Yahweh, our power, ye cannot overthrow it, lest 
happily ye be found even to fight against Yahweh our power. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Right? So there's going to come a time when the talk is over. You know, you believe one thing, they believe something else. The time is going to come when all hell breaks loose and this society collapses. The time is going to come when, when all that talk is over and you're going to see what the real is.